Hi and welcome to Yoga with Tim. Today we're going to do a Pilates fusion and core total body workout class. You ready for this one? <laughs> Alright, so let's get started. Lie down onto your back. Alright, so we're going we're to begin lying down onto the back and let's find our neutral spine. So as you exhale, flatten your lower back down into the ground. And as you inhale, arch to your lower back. So roll the tip of the tailbone down, roll your pubic bone away from you. And then as you exhale, tuck, roll the tailbone up, deflate the rib cage. And last one, inhale into extension, roll the tip of the tail. Exhale, tuck, flatten, hug the rib cage down. Now press your heels down and grip your hamstrings a bit. We're gonna hold this tucked position and we're gonna see if we can hold the tucked position with the arms up and slowly reach your arms back an inch or two or three and breathe your collarbones broad as you inhale. Visualize them getting wider and wider and wider and then as you exhale, press your heels into the floor like you're pulling the mat back towards your butt and reach your butt towards your heels, reach your rib cage down as you exhale. You can even do that audible exhalation through your mouth, it's helpful. Then as you inhale, take the arms back halfway, broaden the collarbones, wider and wider and wider. And as you exhale, contract hamstrings, feel rib cage, pelvis connection. Bring your arms back up. Now find neutral and roll yourself up to your knees. Hold that neutral spine so it's not flattened like we were just doing that last exercise. And then bring one leg up in a tabletop position. See if you can hold the pelvis without letting it fall away from you because that's going to be the tendency. And then bring the other leg up. On your exhalation, you're going to crunch up a little bit more, knit your ribs in. And then we're going to, with the exhalation, pump the arms. On your inhalation, remember your broad collarbones. Keep the feeling of reaching your buttocks away from you, hugging the front ribs in down to the pelvis, just like we practiced in that beginning exercise. Then set your heels down, lie back down. We're, one more time, we're gonna do that beginning exercise. Engage your hamstrings, roll the tailbone up, rib cage in. Exhale all there out. As you inhale, reach the arms back. Broad collarbones, exhale all there out, like I'm pressing your rib cage in and down to your pelvis. Now from here, crawl the feet forward a little bit further and see if you can roll yourself up. Come up to seated. From the seated position, start to roll yourself over your knees, but pretend like I put a ball right here and you're trying to roll up and over it. Then sit back up tall and roll yourself down. Feel that contraction in your hamstrings, buttock flesh rolling to the backs of your knees to slowly control you down. Now press your heels down, feel hamstrings again, feel rib cage to pelvis, and slowly reach the arms back as you inhale the collarbones, visualize them going broad. Don't strain your neck and your jaw at all. Now see if you can roll yourself back up. If it's difficult, put your feet underneath something like a couch. Now stretch your arms up as you sit tall. And then like that ball is up against your belly, ribs again, roll over the imaginary ball. Again, sit up and roll yourself back. You can use your heels and your hamstrings, control the movement nice and slow. Roll back. Broad collarbones on the inhale and exhale. Roll yourself back up with your arms, stretch up. And as you exhale, roll over the imaginary ball. 
roll all the way or sit up tall. Inhale and then control yourself down. Feel each joint of the spine roll down. Inhale the arms back. And then bring your arms down at your side. Bend both knees and set the feet down to the floor. Let the spine come to neutral for a moment. Then let's practice the next exercise. Bring your right knee into your chest. Curl yourself up. Turn on your core again. Stretch your left leg forward. So you're going to use your exhalation, send all the air out, deflate the ribs, then change legs. And then send all the air out again. Change. Inhale as you change. Keep your neck free and long so you're not jutting your chin forward or crunching from your neck. Then set the feet down onto the ground. Take your right leg up into the air. Left foot plants flat. Now see if you can maintain your core control and then start to make circles with your right leg. So I'd rather you draw smaller circles and maintain no movement in the pelvis and the rib cage. But of course, we don't want to get rigid in the jaw, the neck, or the groins. Change the direction of your leg. and change legs. Now left leg up, right foot plants. If you have more flexibility, you can stretch the leg all the way out. Start to make circles. So this really could be a daily routine for your Pilates fusion core work. Change the circle. Notice the parts of the circle that don't make so good of a circle. And see if you can slow down and control through those areas. Now bring your legs into tabletop position, curl yourself up, bring your hands to your outer heels. Knit your ribs in, abs in, and then stretch out. Pull back in. Stretch out. Lower your feet down. Open your feet the width of your mat. Open your arms up like cactus arms and let your knees swivel over to the right. Knees to the left. Come back to center. Bring the legs back up in the tabletop, hands behind your head. Twist up and over to your left knee, right leg forward. Change. And keep going side to side with control. and release. Hug your knees to your chest. Roll yourself up to seated. Sit with your legs in a V position. 
and take your arms out to the side. Now, as you exhale, twist towards your right foot and reach with your left hand to your right inner foot. But imagine that big ball is there that you're trying to flex the spine over. Inhale to sit back up to center. Exhale, reach over to the left inner foot. Inhale back up. Exhale to the right. Inhale back up and to the left. One more round. So make it a core exercise by really focusing on exhaling the rib cage in and back. Good, then bring your knees in. And now we're gonna practice rolling back and forth. So if your spine is healthy enough for this, you can practice. Otherwise, you're just gonna practice a modified boat or a full boat. If the spine is healthy enough to, tuck your belly, roll back onto your shoulders, and back up. I'm using a cushion mat. So make sure you have enough cushion so that your spine isn't grinding into the ground. Last one. Then hold the upright position, come into modified boat, collarbones broad, or full boat. Then sweep your feet over to the right. Sit tall. And as you exhale, reach your right arm over. Inhale back up. Exhale the left arm over. And go side to side one more time. Change the legs. Sweep the feet over to the left. And as you inhale, reach your left arm up. Exhale, stretch over. Side to side. Now come onto your belly. And place your forearms right underneath your shoulders, elbows underneath your shoulders. Contract your glutes, draw your abdominals in. Keep your chest broad. And as you contract the buttocks down towards the heels, hamstring curl your heel towards your buttock and feel the back of the leg turn on, but don't let your butt sink into your lower back. Pulse two times and then stretch the leg out. Change sides. So as you keep going through this exercise, keep the space in your lower back by reaching the buttock down so you can feel your hamstrings squeeze when you do the pulse. Instead of letting the ribs drop, I keep my rib cage in so I can get the movement in the spine higher up in the thoracic. All right, then lower yourself down, stretch your arms forward, reach through your toes back, reach through your arms forward. Then as you exhale, knit the ribs in and down, the pubic bone towards the heart. So instead of letting my middle just drop into the floor, I start to engage. I squeeze the buttock, I draw the ribs in. Now see if you can maintain that and lift your hands up an inch. Pull your arms into cactus. Reach the arms straight back behind you and now do a back bend in your upper back. Squeeze your buttock down, lift the legs up. Press the feet down, come back to neutral. Arms to the side, arms forward, thumbs up. Lower down. Find your starting position. Lift up an inch. Bend into cactus. Reach the arms back. Curl up in the chest. Engage your backs of your legs and your glutes. Lift the legs up an inch. 
Press down, arms to T, thumbs up, arms forward. Last one. Lift up, cactus, reach back, lift up, hold, and lower yourself down. <clears throat> Press up onto your hands and your knees. And let's take a down dog stretch. Hands shoulder distance apart, feet hip distance apart. If you're less flexible in your shoulders, you can put blocks underneath your hands. Hold here for five breaths. Now walk your feet forward. Come into a forward fold, feet outer hips distance apart. Roll yourself up to stand, and let's practice the no hands transition to the ground. Arms forward, sit back into a chair. Lift your heels up, drop your butt to your heels. If this bothers your knees, don't force it. Then from there, see if you can drop the heels back down, drop the buttock, and then come into a boat position. Lower into low boat position. Come back up into boat. Plant the feet, and maybe with a little bit of momentum, you could get up at across the ankles, which is maybe a little cheat. All right, sit your butt down. Enough yoga tricks for the day. Now we're gonna use a little blanket, or you could use a block underneath your head. Block's a little aggressive. I'm gonna use a blanket. We're gonna do a little bit of side lying, outer hip strengthening. So lift your right leg up, lift your left side waist up, and the first thing that we're gonna do is just hover the leg up and down. Keep your big toe slightly turned in so you can hit the glute med, which is such an important muscle to strengthen. So as I'm doing this, instead of letting my left waist drop, I keep a lift here, and I'm reaching the right hip out of the lower back. Now hold it in the hovered position and slowly bring the leg forward without the body moving. And then slowly reach the leg back. But as the leg goes back, firm your buttock in and down, keep your ribs in. Close the space here, don't let it open up, that's cheating. Leg forward, leg back. One more time, you should start to feel that burn in your outer hip. Come back, hold it in the hovered position, and give me a few more lifts. Okay, good. Let's do the other side. Don't worry, we're gonna stretch it out right after this. If you're worried, don't worry so much, okay? You try doing some yoga. All right, so plant the bottom leg is bent slightly. Hover your top leg up. Make sure you have the lift in your waist. And we're gonna do slow lifts up and down. As I'm lying here, I'm trying to connect the sacrum to the back of the skull and find more length between them while keeping this space closed between my ribs and pelvis. Keep the big toe angled in slightly so you can feel this part of your hip firing, your glute med, the side buttock. It'll feel dented in if you're getting it well. If you turn the thigh out, you're working more glute max, which we're not focused on right now. Okay, now hold in the hover position. Bring the leg forward and back.
As you take the leg back, firm the buttock in and down. See if you can reach back further without losing your middle. As you bring your leg forward, don't let your spine sink back. Now hold back in the hover position. You should feel it really working. We're gonna do three more slow lifts. Right side waist is lifted still. No tension in your neck. Good job. Lie down onto your back. Cross your right ankle over your left knee and hug it in. Oh. Even to that stretch that you're feeling in your outer hip. Change the cross of your legs. Uncross, roll up to seated. Sit with your legs wide apart. Bend your left knee, bring your heel to your pubic bone, turn to face your right leg. And stretch out over your right leg. Inhale back up, last stretch here. Bring your right heel in, sit up tall as you face your left leg. And as you exhale, fold forward over your left. Inhale, come back up. Thanks so much for joining me for today's class. Doing a little yoga closing with the Namaste, which if you're a Pilates person, that might not, might not be your thing. But uh, if you enjoyed today's class, let me know below. Leave a comment. Let me know the core exercises that you feel like you really benefited from, what was challenging. And uh, also, hit the like button and take a moment to subscribe to the channel. It will help it so that you don't miss any future videos and it's the best way to support the channel. So thanks for that. Have a great day. I'll see you next time.